for you know 30 percent. So when I, for example, try to lift something like this, assuming I have lifted things long enough, you know, there's like 99 percent chance that I will lift it, um, and there's still a one percent chance that it's probably slippery, and so it just slips out and then you know makes a big mess. That's stochastic, right? Um, most uh, actions, um, depending on your hardware, I mean, those are, how many of you have done uh, robotics clubs and robotics competitions? You know that all the difficulty in robotics is getting the effectors that are more determinist. You know, the cheap ones uh, essentially will do most of the time, but you know, the, the, if you pay more, then you will have higher guarantees on what they're actually going to do. For example, if you ask the robot to walk, Three centimeters, or you know, 2.5 meters. You know, if you have precision robots, then they will exactly go that far. If you have imprecise, then they'll go somewhere in between. Okay, um, that's about actions. Uh, but what about perceptions? When you're sensing, you know, from your robot's point of view, what makes life hard is can you sense the environment perfectly or only partially? Okay, now once again from a robotics point of view, if you have a lot of money, you would have bought like the best camera. <laughs> Most of the student robots will have not enough money and so they will buy some sonar sensor or something, which will be basically noisy inputs. Now, turns out that, so first of all, that actually shows that sensors can be noisy and so that, you know, if it's a noisy sensor, then you only have probabilistic information about the environment. And that makes life harder. Okay. Um, in particular, um, one of the issues is so that is if you in fact this as of assumes that uh, the environment state is actually observable, but it's your sensor which is not able to observe. Then comes to the environment itself because uh, in terms of the environment, a lot more can be talked about. Okay. Um, first of all. You want to ask, is the environment going to stay in place while I am deciding what to do next? Remember, I'm still trying to decide what the next action is. Is the environment going to stay in place when I'm deciding what action to do next? You have this problem in all your life. And somebody says, tell me what to do, and I say, give me some time. And sometimes there is no time. You need to tell me right there. You know, a classic example is when you are in the middle of rural road, it's not a good time to think. Why? Because rural road is not static, except on some exam days or something, it's not static. There's a lot of traffic. Okay? And so, even if you don't do anything, the environment is going to change. 